Hello, friends and students. So, welcome to Desi Teacher Videsh. So, today I am going to discuss about the recent PhD requirement at Ultrasound Research Institute of Connors University of Technology, Lithuania. Okay, and this is the same institute where I also did my PhD before uh, coming to Finland. Yes. So, this is the like PhD requirement you can see like in the urexis.eceuropa.eu. This is the well-known website. Like all those research jobs are being published here in this website. So this is you can see like here is a PhD, right? So last date of application is 13th of May. Please remember, right? This is the university name, Kona University of Technology in Lithuania. And this is Ultrasound Research Institute. Like you can say like it's a department or a research institute. So it is. So the research field is basically uh, non-destructive testing, ultras, uh, application of ultrasound to find the defect in materials, basically what we do or they do, because I'm also the part, because I also worked as a researcher there and also uh, was a PhD student as well. So basically they find the defect in like uh, composite materials such as wind turbine blade or wing aircraft wing, such as. So, Basically, what are the requirements? So requirements are like you should have the background in engineering, such as measurement engineering or electronics engineering or computer science, right? Or from mechanical engineering. So you should have such kind of background or even from mathematics. Yes, it will also work if you uh, like know how to proceed for the processing or some mathematical analysis. So, this is already written here. You don't need to have the knowledge of ultrasound like in order to apply because this is a PhD. You will learn from the beginning. But what you should have, you should have like uh, good communication skill and good writing skills in English. And you sh should be competent, right? You should be a good learner. And uh, yeah, basically you have to then publish research articles, but you will learn all those things. Uh, but you should have little knowledge in programming or MATLAB or some data analysis. Yes, it is basically learning and doing things, but you should have high motivation. That is the most important thing during the PhD. What they want, they want a very good, like uh, motivated student uh, instead of having a lot of knowledge, but uh, they have no motivation, right? Yes. So here it is, all these requirements and all these links are already written here. And here is the uh, email ID of Professor Rinaldas Rayasutis. He was my supervisor. And now he is a very close friend of mine. So, and this is the topic you can see, like uh, uh, if you go through here, like, so if I open, okay, so you can see this website, if I open this here, so this comes here. So you can see like these two topics, like here and here. Okay, this is like in the at the ultrasound research institute. So this is my supervisor, right? Supervisor, and so here is the, for example, the uh, full description of the research topic. You can see, but basically for this research topic, they ask like about okay, you must have some experience or some knowledge, not about the experience because you you are a student, right? So you should have maybe little knowledge about. E Either, I'm, I'm telling either, it's not like compulsory, you should have all the desired skills, either artificial intelligence or signal processing, or like some competence in MATLAB or mathematical analysis or numerical modeling. For example, if you have experience in ANSYS or solid work, that will also work. So it's not compulsory that you should have all the desired skills. You will learn during the, because it's a very good environment there. Like for example, yeah, because I also did, so I know. Yes. so. If you have maybe some experience or some knowledge in this related field, you must apply for this PhD. If you see here, you can find maybe, okay, there is no like funding like from the EU research framework, but yes, no funding from EU research framework, but there are funding from the Lithuanian Research Council because this university is in Lithuania and there are funding from uh, Research Council. So I will show maybe later, but still if you want, so I can show you like, Okay, here is the funding. If you see like, for example, the state funded position, you will see, you will apply for the state funded position, right? You don't need to apply for non-funded. You can, you have to apply for a state funded position. Forget about this non-funded. There are two options, either state funded or non-funded. So you have to 
when during the online application you have to select a state funded position right so the state funded position what you will get 17 798 around 800 euro per month during first year and second year onwards you will get 924 euro per month and please remember in lithuania like expenses for single person 400 to 500 is more than enough for a single person and for example if you are living with your family maybe 800 euro is more than enough maybe in 700 or 600 you can easily live moreover if you perform well for example in my case during the in the first semester i got a job as a lecturer and uh, in second year i got a job as a junior researcher you understand so i'm getting you understand so more money right so it all depends on you but at least even you don't get like uh, uh, some position during the a certain period of time this money is quite big enough and alsa sound research institute is at santka valley it's a beautiful building and lot of research activities please remember this seriously because i learned a lot from there and even like before getting my phd degree i already had a three or four job offers from all over the europe including finland or netherlands and germany you understand this and now i am in finland right so all these links about i am not going through all these slides but uh, everything you can find here and if you have any issue right you can directly contact to me because yeah i am a part of that institute please remember because i work there and i studied there so please understand so this is you can see right so these are the topics this well first topic is this one and second topic is here like this one assessment of factor influence the accuracy of x ray computed tomography for dimensional measurement so again i am telling you don't need to have experience in x ray or something like that you will learn everything what i we want we want like a good motivated student right who are eager to learn who are highly motivated to perform the phd and doctoral degree right you will get a like every month salary i already showed you but your job is to learn and work that's it there are a lot of good people they are all like at the institute they are going to teach you they are going to help you all the time i could just remember like my supervisor used to even in the beginning used to prepare report for me at least yeah even he he showed me how to prepare report how to write a, like for example a good technical report or article yeah so a lot of people are there but it is up to you you should be highly motivated yes so that is i wanted to inform you and maybe all these links you can go by like from here like right? all these links here i will post this link at the description box as well so uh for example in my case like i already told you i studied there one there so you can just for example type my name here in the google and you can find lot of information about me right lot of information about me and you can see like here for example if you click here this link for example this is the konas university of technology you can click this link and you can find the like this is my information when i worked there and you find a lot of in, like my research articles 1 2 3 you can go and a lot of like research activities you can see like with uh, with renaldus rice with this i worked a lot of articles and lot of papers right so he is the main supervisor of this research topic so you uh have to contact him and you can contact me as well if you are eager to apply yes you can contact me as well and i will definitely help you how to apply and what is the application process if you are still feeling like difficulty okay but uh, this is a very golden chance okay to apply and i am ready to help because you will not find like for example it is very like problematic if you are going to apply and how to apply what will be okay what should be the good application how to do this thing that but i am here to help you so it is up to you you should approach me not me not i, I cannot approach you because i don't know that you are uh, interested or not but this is the best chance to like prepare your career right to make your career because this institute getting admission at this institute is really like a tough job seriously but if you file your application in good way in a smart way definitely you will get a position but it is up to you right so this is what i wanted to inform you and all these links right whatever i am like uh, showing you here so you can find all those links here right all those links here for example if you click here yes this guide so you will find this guide right this funding and all so you will not get only okay this is the monthly funding but in the in like the 
for example during the phd you will get a lot of fundings like for example uh, fundings for the conferences funding for the for example publications if you pub- publish a paper you will get like a reward something and during the conferences as well like, like for example i visited so many countries right and i published the results i visited so many countries because of uh, the funded provided by the university and funded provided by the this funding provided by the lithuanian research council well and related to topic you cannot understand you can also contact me like about the research and all so whatever the problem if you have you can contact to me or for example if you don't want to contact me you can also contact to the person like who are responsible for example here you can see like already for example dr elena for this uh, like uh, research topic and professor renaldus who was my supervisor for this topic yes for this topic professor renaldus rise up this you understand so now you understand so if you have any issues please contact me that is i wanted to inform you because uh, this is very very important and i i want like some good uh, candidates and motivated candidates should apply so please if you like uh, Uh, no any like uh, students like good students who are who wants to do the phd want to do like uh, good phd and not make their career so please forward this video this information to them okay so thank you very much and i hope that you will definitely apply because deadline is coming so you need to go through all the uh, essential requirements and make your application as soon as possible thank you very much and see you in the next video